Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how to insert sorted into an array. So we've done this before. We've seen how to insert sorted into an array of integers. In this case, we are going to see how to insert sorted into an array of C strings. Actually, I'm going to insert into an array of structs. So this is what my text file has. It has a bunch of fruits in it. And as we insert, we are going to try and insert it into the right position. We are not going to do any kind of sorting after loading everything in this order. So as we read, we are going to insert it. We're going to find the right position and we are going to insert it. So here is the code for this. And I'm using a struct. It's a very simple struct. So the fruit type and all it has is a fruit name. So each element in the array, which is a struct, is going to be ordered by the fruit name. Okay, so the first struct would actually have apple after it's all completely loaded. Then the next one would be banana and cantaloupe and so on and so forth in the right order. Cantaloupe and then cherry and so on. Okay, so let's first take a look at the algorithm on paper. Keep in mind we are reading, uh, we are using structs, not uh, with the char array. Okay, not a two-dimensional char array for a list of strings. Okay, so here's what I have. We have a list of fruits. The list is now empty. And this is what's coming from the file, these fruits. Okay, all right. So the first thing to do is you're gonna check if size is zero, right? Size is the one that keeps track of how many elements I have in the list. If size is zero, there's nothing in my list. So I read the first fruit and I put it right into zero. And I increment size. So size now is there, which is at one. Apple has been read. Then we read the next fruit, kiwi. We need to now figure out the right position to insert it now that we already have one fruit. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the fruit in the list with the fruit in the file. And if the fruit in the list is less than the fruit in the file, that means I need to go to the next position, right? So let's use a while loop that checks to see while fruits of i is less than, let's call this temp fruit. Okay, while this is less than temp fruit. Now, if you're using structs, you gotta use the right data type. We'll see that in the code in a minute. While fruits of i is less than temp fruit, maybe I have a marker called i, and i is gonna keep moving, i plus plus. So i goes to the next one. Now, of course, there's nothing in my array. So how do I know if I reach the end of my list, which means not this, this is the capacity of the array, but the number of elements in the array. So if I don't check for that, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to go off into an infinite loop. So I not only need to see if this fruit is less than this, I also need to make sure I'm not going to fall off the edge of the array. So then have another condition here, while fruits of i is less than temp fruit and i, the i that's moving has to be less than size. If it hits size, then don't go beyond that. That means I have reached the end of the list and it just so happens that kiwi has to go there because it's after A, right? So you have two conditions in here, not just one condition. So you're gonna say while fruit of i less than temp fruit and i less than size, i plus plus. So i starts at zero, let's trace our algorithm. i starts at zero, apple is less than kiwi. So we're gonna go here, i moves over here because we said i plus plus. Now, i is less than size, i is equal to size. So that condition is false. So we are done moving. We are out of the while loop. So we are out of the while loop and we need to, we know when we come out of the while loop, we need to insert into that position wherever i stop moving. So let's mark that position with a pause variable. So now this is pause, I have marked it. Now we need to know if we need to shift, what if I had other fruits here, then I need to shift right? Okay, so in this case, there's nothing there, but I don't know if I need to shift. So let's say we had other fruits here. For example, maybe I had inserted um, a lemon. Maybe lemon was already inserted there. So if lemon was already inserted there, then my size, let's start over our algorithm. My size would be here at two, okay? Now let's go through our algorithm. You, you need to just keep tracing your algorithm over and over with different conditions. So apple is less than kiwi. 
So I moves to the and I, so if we start I here, I is zero. Zero is less than two and apple is less than kiwi. So I gets incremented. So I goes to one. Lemon, however, is not less than K. K, L, L comes after K. So this condition is false. So we're gonna come out of there, which means what that says is wherever I is, is where I need to insert kiwi, which means lemon has to get shifted down. So pause gets marked wherever I is. Now we need to start our shifting process. So you need to shift, again, go back and take a look at the shifting algorithm. If you want to insert and shift, you need to start shifting from the back end. So for j equals size, put j here, j greater than pause, j greater than pause, j minus minus, this is how my for loop is going to look. And I'm going to copy from, if this is j, this has got to be j minus one, so I'm going to copy from j minus 1 to j inside the for loop. So I'm going to copy this over. And if we had more fruits, we would copy everything until j reaches pause, because that's my condition. So lemon has been copied over here. Once that has been done, I can insert kiwi right here. So which we will do here at the bottom after the whole shifting has been done, we would say fruits of pause equals temp fruit temp fruit is the one that keeps track of my fruit that I'm going to look, right? So kiwi would go in here. And of course, I must increment size. So size now has moved over here. Three. So you have to do size plus plus. Now, if you follow the same algorithm, and let's try to insert banana, kiwi has been done. So start over here. I starts over here again, so let's reset all of this. I starts at zero. You have to test your algorithm with different fruits to see if it's actually going to work. Apple is less than banana, and zero is less than three, so we're going to go to the next one. I goes over here. Kiwi, however, is not less than banana, so we're going to stop moving, which means banana has to go here, right? So you mark pause equals I, so this becomes pause. You shift everything down from size. Here's my size. This is not size anymore. Let's get rid of all the stuff. So we're going to start from J from size, and you're going to shift everything down till pause. So lemon gets shifted here. This becomes kiwi. And we have reached pause, so we stop shifting. This becomes banana. And size gets incremented, so size becomes four. Take a look at strawberry. Work, work it out for a few fruits before you decide it's going to work. Apple is less than strawberry. Again, you have to reset all of these things. I start set zero again. Apple is less than strawberry, and zero is less than four. Banana is less than strawberry, and one is less than four. Kiwi is less than strawberry. Okay, let me know if you can ask, right? Yeah, kiwi is less than strawberry. And I is less than four. Lemon is less than strawberry. But, and I is less than four. When we get to four, I is equal to size, which is four. So we stop moving. And shifting, let's see. Do we really shift at this point in time? J equals size. So when we come out, we our I is here, remember? We mark pause, so pause is also here. Now we're trying to shift j equals size. j greater than pause is not true. j is right at pause, so we are not going to shift, which is a good thing. We don't want to shift because there's nothing to shift. So we insert strawberry here and increment size. So it seems to work when we are inserting at the end as well. So test this algorithm out before you decide it is actually going to work. So now let's take a look at the code. So I'm gonna show you the code on Replit first, and then we can take a look at the code that's in Zybooks. So here is my, um, here's my struct. Here's my array of structs. We open the file, size is set to zero. We call read data. Read data comes here, gets the array of the struct, and the size at zero. 
We know how to do all of these things. If size is equal to cap, that means array is full. We can't add any more fruits. If not, size says if size is zero. Size is zero, not of that will be true. That means there is nothing in the list and the first fruit, again, remember temp fruit is a struct, okay? I read into the temp structs fruit name from the file. Again, this is an array of structs, not an actual um, array of strings. The array of struct, each struct has a char array. So I have read into my temporary struct into its name from the file. So fruit name is the char array that is sitting in my struct, remember. Um, so I pretty much say temp fruit is equal to, so this is a struct on the right hand side, this is a struct on the left hand side. I take the struct with the fruit name from the file and insert it into this array of struct. Okay, at position zero. Okay, that is if the list is empty. Okay, now that the first fruit has been inserted, remember our algorithm. If we go through and compare and see while string compare of the fruit in the list is less than the fruit that we are reading from the file and i is less than size, we keep moving through the list. The minute one of these conditions is false, we come out of there, we shift, and then we put it into position and increment size. This is what we get. Notice the fruits.txt file does not have it in order. So you could have other things here. For example, if I add a few fruits, it should still work. Maybe zoo is not a fruit, but it's a good test to see how it's gonna work out. And again, remember uppercase is different from lowercase. So your zoo should come at the end. And if you move things around and test it, it should work. Everything should be in the right position. Oh, that it is not. So there is something wrong with my algorithm. Okay, so the problem, notice I got initialized outside. Every time you go through the loop, I has to be initialized to zero because you want to start at the top every time and reset. The other thing that I also don't have here is pause. Pause is not quite needed. If you want, you can mark pause right here which I didn't mark, I used I as the marker to do both. So try this algorithm. Now here in Zybooks is a different algorithm. Um, I have a function called is less than that compares the two fruit names and returns true or false. So fruit one is less than fruit two, then I return true. So again, you're going to look at this and say, okay, I'm going to go through the whole loop. If this is using a for loop as opposed to a while loop. If is less than fruit one, fruit two returns false, that means if fruit one is not less than fruit two, in which case fruit one happens to be the name in the list. If the name in the list is not less than the name in the file, then we break out of there. That means that is the right position to insert. Okay, so you really need to sit down and write it out and see what works best for your um, brain to figure out what is less and what is more and where you're inserting. Once you figure that out, the rest of the algorithm will fall into place. Try it and see how it works out.